So I'm doing things like this. And uh, variations of that, for example, last week we held an event where there was no structure at all. And <laughs> it actually worked really well. Everybody could just do whatever they wanted. And uh, they got a lot of work done. The other thing that I've been doing, I've actually been trying to do this for many years, is co-author books. And I've had numerous disasters of varying <laughs> levels, and this is well known when people try and co-author books, and if you've met people who've co-authored books, they will probably tell you bad stories. So I've had some of those, and um, I've found two techniques that seem to work. One is Gerald Weinberg said that he works on a book with a co-author, and everybody works on the same chapter um, together. In other words, it's not alternating chapters. And they don't write a contract until the book is done. And if people get bored with the book, then they walk away from it. They don't. They don't try and <coughs> preserve it. Um, I've had some problems with uh, variations of that technique. Um, if, if someone gets attached to it, um, there can be trouble. So. What uh, I've more or less come up with is uh, based on the uh, Python benevolent dictator, <coughs> and the benevolent dictator is me, so we have the uh, draconian book contract, which basically says that uh, Bruce is the benevolent dictator and uh, kind of makes the decisions and everything. And just like in the Python world, I try not to exercise that. The idea is that I don't have to do that. But if it gets into a situation where I need to do that, then I can make those decisions. So I'm in the process of co-authoring or talking about co-authoring three books. Uh, one of them is almost done, and that is uh, uh, thinking, well, maybe thinking in C Sharp 3 if I get the, the use of the title back, which is based on uh, another book, uh, with the book with James. James hasn't really read the draconian book contract yet. Uh, so I'm not sure if he, he's completely bought into it, but so far he, he's still smiling. I don't read contracts. He don't read. He, yeah, he just he just signs and goes <laughs> on. Anyway. Yeah. So um, and that would that would be thinking in flex. And um, so and each of these books has I think kind of a different style working on them, which is fine with me, as long as my goal is to, to keep them from going awry, as books have gone awry in the past. There's a third book which I'm working on with a guy who lives in um, Hungary. And he did most of the work on the solution guide for Thinking in Java 4th edition. So he's kind of proved himself. He has a PhD in um, combination of computer science and I think mechanical engineering and is a very sharp guy. And we started out, that was supposed to be better Java. And I think we both got kind of bored with the whole thing, and we've decided to instead do concurrent programming in Scala, mm -hmm. and which I'm much more excited about, and I think he is as well. So those, and I'm, I've, I've also talked a little to with Jim about possibly doing something in, um, with Jython. I would be not sure. <laughs> well, oh, there he is. <laughs> not sure what, not sure what will happen with that. But again, each of these can be you know, flexible and work out in different ways. Um, and, and my goal is to make sure that they either happen or don't happen in the least painful fashion. And um, and so other, I, I guess the basic idea is that I feel like as long as I, who've had experience, enough experience with these, can maintain control over this, um, if it starts to go wrong, I can cut it off or I can fix it or something. And so I'm comfortable enough to continue doing experiments. Yes. Oh, one minute. minute. So, um, and um, actually, if any, b b for the closing session tomorrow, if people have any ideas about other kinds of events like this that they would be interested in trying to do, um, feel free to, to bring that up at the closing session or talk to me separately because uh, I get a lot of energy out of these things as, I mean, I get at least as, I think at least as much energy as you guys get out of it. And uh, that is much more fun than doing seminars. So much, much less lucrative so far, but uh, hey, it's kind of fun, right? <laughs> right, and if I could just add a comment to that, the, um, you know, the aspect of thinking about writing the book and what that would mean has actually shaped some of the work we've been doing in Jython right. to make it better right. because of the interaction I've had with you. So th Excellent. that's uh, a great way of also energizing our own Jython process, which has been great.
That's all. Thank you.